There are a number of ways in which we choose our exhibitions. We do a little bit of a straw poll. We ask our visitors, what are your favourite books? Who are your favourite authors? And I have to say that The Tiger Who Came to Tea was absolutely one of the kind of top of the list. Um, we also then think about what will work well in an exhibition because it's really important that there are lots of layers, lots of activities, lots of different things for children to do. Um, and so obviously it's a mixture of that kind of really popular, iconic characters alongside some really beautiful illustrations that, that give up lots of opportunity for play. Um, it's a wonderful exhibition. The idea is it's all about stepping into a picture book. So it features 14 of the books of Judith Carr, who is one of the best loved authors. Um, and it's a really playful exhibition. So there's a chance to interact, to crawl through cat flaps, to create badges for the best cat in the show, um, to do small play, go shopping, and also, of course, to read some of the, the wonderful books of Judith Carr. Um, it's really important that children get a chance to imagine um, and to learn through play. I think that we, we know that reading, writing, storytelling is really important. It's important for children's learning, it's important for their communication skills, for their confidence and for their social development. And learning through play is absolutely the best way of doing that. So to have something where children are interacting, they're not passive, they're, they're really actively um, spending time with adults as well, spending time with their parents and carers to just explore and, and find more things about, you know, the fantastic world of stories. Um, I think the hardest challenge was about getting this sort of styling of the books. They're very soft and very beautiful illustrations and to get the kind of the quality of painting, quality of drawing that she has in her books, that was the hardest challenge in terms of scenic painting and, and lighting throughout the exhibition. Um, we worked very hard in the exhibitions to make sure that the, we create an immersive experience and I think that engages the children and then when they read the books they can relate back to the, the illustrations that they've seen in, in real life.